But what to do when you find a lot of 666666? Is this the number of the beast? No, let's discover it today. Welcome to this new video. I'm Ricardo Samuzicus Practicus, and today I want to talk to you, to you about what to do when you see in your basso continuo, your harmony exercises, partimenti, counterpoint, a long succession of 66666. Of course, this is not the number of the beast, but we are at the presence of a um, succession, basically of sixth. Eight, six, six. For example, but then we also need the third. Let's read what John Blow, this with this blowing PDF, blowing treatise says. Whenever you find your bass figure with a sixth, with a sixth, you must accompany it with a third. So you need a sixth. When you have a sixth, like here, sixth is the orange voice. Fa mi fa re mi fa sol mi. You need to accompany it with the thirds. Mi mi fa mi fa sol mi fa sol la sol fa la sol sol fa mi la sol fa mi. I'm reading with solmization, as you can see. So. It's very powerful to read with solmization because you have the same letters, the same syllables, I mean, the same syllables through all the keys, major and minor, of course. And um, this way you think mi fa and fa mi and you always will have the semitone. For example, let's do a scale in parallel sixth using a pattern called Faubourdon, a pattern of the beautiful Patimento Magic box. One, two, here, so. Partimento Magic Box, we have the Faux Bourdon. Tac, the Faux Bourdon. The Faux Bourdon works this way. We have a succession of parallel sixth and parallel thirds together. Where the top voice in major sings Fa mi fa re mi fa so. <laughs> like. Fa mi fa re mi fa sol mi. Sol fa la sol fa mi fa. While the middle voice mi mi fa sol re mi fa sol la sol fa mi la sol fa mi. And then, based on this structure, you could uh, have fun adding some diminutions. For example, in the middle voice. in the top voice. That's a very useful exercise and if you transpose it to other keys like A flat major Fa mi, you have the same letters. Fa mi, fa re, fa mi, fa re, mi fa sol, mi sol fa la sol fa mi fa. That's why I suggest that you learn solmization because it gives you this more power, more strength to transposition, to transpose an exercise to another key. And in the middle voice, you have the same letters. Of course, you also need practice, but this is and useful power in order to make it easily. Mi fa sol re mi fa sol la sol fa mi la sol fa sol fa mi. And then also adding some figuration here, this time in triplets. With the fa super la, if you know some musician, you will put the fa super la. Mi fa sol fa sol la. Sol fa mi fa 
sol fa, la sol fa, sol fa mi fa mi re mi. For example, and so we also practice with the descending scale uh, this time. As you can see here, we need a six. And um, in minor, the Fobordon, Re, we say we start with Re, Re, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Fa, Sol, La, Fa. We put the melody scale in the left hand, so in the bass. Then we can also add here diminutions. Or also in the top voice. These are exercises I always uh, practice with uh, my students, with, with uh, students who I teach partimento and improvisation, I think, because they are useful exercise when you are in the middle of your improvisation. And you know, sometimes in improvisation you have to, <laughs> you are not writing, so there are many factors that can influence your performance. In this case, being having in your hands this structure, it's very useful, this makes a difference. It's very powerful having in your fingers these patterns. And so that's all for this video, for this video about if we were done ascending and descending, and see you in the next video with other topics, learn solmization, and if you want, join Patreon to get access to many, many, many other contexts like delicious musical recipes, and to support this project in order to allow me and to help me in making all these videos with <laughs> all the amount of time that all this work requires. And so, see you in the next video, and where you want. Ut fa sol re mi fa. Can you sing with your hand? Consider that this method has been used to teach music from the Middle Ages until the early 19th century. All the great musicians whose music captivates and moves us learned the basics of music starting right here with a simple hand that I have drawn on a glove, which encapsulates all the elements of music. The great scale, hexachords, clefs, notes, and melodies, everything in the palm of one hand. It is true that it is not so easy to learn this system at the beginning. It is all based on a series of musical relationships and ratios which are different from modern music theory. The historical sources are written in ancient Italian, making them accessible to only a few. Furthermore, the way the ancients write is not always so clear. However, if you have as passionately curious as I am, and you would love to learn how to sing like a true Renaissance or Baroque musicus practicus, take a look to Fa me et me fa e stota musica method. In English, so it will be very easy for you to understand everything from A to Z. 13 stages that are well organized and ordered. Start from stage 1 and gradually progress to stage 13, following the step-by-step -step order proposed in this journey. Examples, images and practical exercises that visually teach you what to do, how to do it and why to do it. Oh, and in the end, we will do a test together. Learn more here.